Hi, this is N5ZKZ again. Today we are going to take a look at the UKIT's Antanalyzer model FG01, 1 through 60 megahertz. This is an older model. I'm not sure of the make. The tag has done come off quite some time ago. This is a four band. The uh, tuner that I'm using is the MFJ Versa Tuner 2. This is an older model tuner. I don't even know if they still offer this thing. It's a model MFJ 941B. Uh, I am very impressed with this tuner. It will really tune quite a bit. The uh, antenna that I just showed you outside is a four band antenna and it will not cover 40 meters. With this tuner we have your adjustment knob and a built in switch and your power switch. I got the uh, optional battery pack. I, I picked up the tuner by the way from Tintech. I picked up the optional battery pack to go with it. I think it was uh, a pretty good price and um, it works very well with this tuner. Upon power up, you see the, the power up screen. It, it, it goes by pretty quick on this, on this tuner. The uh, operational screen here is very nice. I like it. I like the fact that it's in color. Uh, pushing the button uh, quickly, momentarily, switches back and forth between center frequency and sweep width. Holding the button down for a second until the digits start flashing red will allow you to select your step. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get an antenna hooked up to this thing and see what we can do. Now you see, as soon as I get the antenna in there, we just come to life. And this antenna that I have, as I, as I stated, it will not tune, or it will not, it is not made for 40 meters. But with this antenna tuner, and this is why I'm impressed with this antenna tuner so much, is that you can see that I have a 1.2 to 1 SWR. You can see that right here. And the impedance is 50 ohms. Now I'm going to step down to the sweep and I'm going to, oh I'm going the wrong way here. I'm going to expand this out. I'm going to go 500k. That lets me see in a little bit more detail what we've got here. Alright now I am building a radio to operate as 7.030 QRP uh, calling frequency and uh, I'm going to check this thing out to see that with the antenna tuner I'm able to, 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 to tune this thing at 40 meters. Now by adjusting my tuner, I can see that I've got a 1.1 to 1 ratio. Yes, for that reason right there, I'm really impressed with this tuner. But, I'm even more so impressed by the ease of use of this UKIT's FD-01. Now, if I hold the button down, I'm going to go up to the 20 meter band. And we're going to go up to 14.225 megahertz. 
and see how well this antenna is performing on there. Okay, well, Now, let me get around here to my I'm going to widen this out a little bit and see. Now, to stay under a 2 to 1 SWR on this frequency you see I've got quite a wide on this antenna I've got quite a wide little range but you can see this thing here is going to allow me to get this thing tuned right in to where I want it Okay, so we've got a 1.3 to 1 impedance of uh, 54.55. I say the antenna is working fairly well. I'm kind of surprised. I thought I was going to have to do some major, some major work to it, but uh, barefoot, mounted on the truck, and using my truck as a ground plane for that thing, I've just temporarily mounted it on the truck. Uh, it's kind of hard to get under overpasses and bridges and whatnot if I mount it permanently, so that's not even an option, but you can see that uh, by the use of this uh, UKITS FG01 analyzer, I am more than satisfied with the performance of that antenna. And so far as the uh, analyzer itself goes, uh, for being one of the uh, lower cost analyzers, I have to say that having used the MFJ model anal analyzers and uh, now this thing, I am very, very impressed with this and uh, the display is very nice. I can see that display very well even with my bad eyes. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is uh, N5ZKZ73.